heard about a lot of people who started their journey to becoming a billionaire from the garage of their house. Well, our hero today too had started his mission to become the youngest billionaire in the world by starting his laboratory in the garage of his house when he was 13 years old. There he invented a laser and even designed the hardware of a supercomputer. All this at a very young age and today he challenges the richest man on earth. But who is our hero? Our man today is someone who has a level of composure well beyond the self-important arrogance of peers who just landed entry-level engineering jobs in the valley. Physical stature, he stands 6 feet, 4 inches tall, a deep voice, and a full reddish beard lend a smidgen of gravita. Austin Russell is the man behind many self-driving cars you find on the road today. His company, Luminar has brought a sparkling change in the automobile industry and he is one of the most popular CEOs. Luminar went public in December 2020, making him the world's youngest self-made billionaire at the age of 25. Russell's 104.7 million shares, roughly one-third of Luminar's equity, were worth $2.4 billion, making Russell the world's youngest self-made billionaire. He also became chairman of the company at this time. The spot for the youngest self-made billionaire was initially claimed by popular celebrity Kylie Jenner. She was replaced by Russell on the Forbes list after it was determined that the documentation she presented overestimated her net worth. As of now, he is number 1299 on the list of billionaires. Our hero wasn't born on any ordinary day. Like the movies, there was something special associated. He was born on a pie day, a number that helps us understand the universe. He was such a smart kid that by the age of two, he did did something unusual. He started to recite the elements of the periodic table. Not even all elements were discovered till he was born. Few. And when he got a bit older, he demanded a cell phone from his parents. The most anticipated answer was a no. So he started to code the working of a phone on his computer. He was a born genius. He had written numerous codes at a young age and had designed so much. He even designed and patented one of his works by the age of 13. It was an underwater system for gardening. He managed all this with his schooling. He had learned to code and designed a lot of other software. And when he was in high school he stepped in to bring the change. His area of interest shifted to self-driving cars. He started watching videos and developing a system to help reduce accidents and build a cheaper solution for making self-driving cars. He was even admitted to Stanford University and had a Thiel scholarship and a bright future, but when he saw that it did not serve his interest in building a revolution in the automotive industry, he decided to drop out and take a break. His company that develops sensors for self-driving cars, Luminar Technology was founded by him after he received a $100,000 fellowship and later he had PayPal as one of his biggest investors. As we mentioned PayPal and Peter Thale, do check out our video on this dangerous investor. Getting back, Russell has said that he often teaches himself new skills from Wikipedia articles and YouTube videos. He was working on his designs and at the age of 17, his prototype was ready. But that prototype eventually failed, and this was just the beginning. After this, it took him almost 2,000 attempts to design a working model. He was so dedicated that he spent most of his day working with his team and designs that he didn't even care about working on the business aspects. All that he had built had been very different from what all others had built. Luminar had taken birth. The company was all set to change the automobile industry. The company spent its first five years in stealth mode. Rather than purchasing components, Russell engineered and manufactured Luminar's LiDAR components himself. And you ask what Luminar manufactures? Well, Luminar works on making LiDAR lasers which are used by self-driving cars so that the system can calculate distance and the number of objects which are near the car. Advocates for self-driving technology say it could save millions of lives and make car crashes a thing of the past. Experts also say self-driving cars could be the next huge global business, worth trillions of dollars. People say that Austin learned to be a billionaire real quick. He has an extravagant lifestyle and owns many expensive bungalows and has hired Tesla's acting general counsel Alan Prescott as chief legal officer. But there is something strange here. Something that you don't know much about. Surprisingly, this technology isn't being used by Tesla's self-driving cars. They instead use a set of external cameras that pair with Tesla's homegrown full self-driving software, popularly known as Musk 2.0. Austin isn't in the good books of the richest man on earth. Elon Musk not only called the products by Luminar expensive and unnecessary, but also called him freaking stupid. Tesla is the world's favorite self-driving car and has never portrayed Luminar in good light. Yet Luminar has made deals with companies like Toyota, Volvo and Intel. So when you buy a self-driving car, remember that it was designed by the youngest and one of the most brilliant billionaires of the world. He stands there writing and changing history when he says, we probably shouldn't have existed in the first place. This was Austin Russell. For more such stories and learning, do follow our channel and tell us more about your opinion on Austin Russell.